Sleep is the single most effective thing we can do to reset our brain and body health each day. Mother Nature's best effort, yet, et contra, death. Did you know that we spent nearly one third of our life sleeping? So that's why I created this guide. Why sleep is important, how the whole mechanism of sleep even works. I'm going to tell you about action steps that you can take now to improve the quality of your sleep. We are currently facing the huge crisis among the society of sleep deprivation. It's because of the old companies or all corporations, and I'm not saying only the corporations that we work for, but also the corporations like Meta, Google, all those companies are fighting for our time. They want to get more and more of it. And we don't even fight back. We just give them our most valuable thing that we have, our time. According to the statistics, Americans sleep now whole hour less than they used to in 1940s. When you hear this, you can only imagine what effects it has on our life. And that is why I created this guide, so that you don't have to imagine. In this video, I'm going to mention the whole idea of what I mentioned before. But if you want to learn more, check out the description. There is a full sleep guide that I created. I made a huge research and put all the most valuable informations. So check it out if your health, your sleep is important for you. Why does sleep is even important? That's the question I saw on the internet multiple times. And the answer is that our body, mind, our communication skills, our leadership skills, all those things and even more rely on our sleep. If your quality of sleep is poor, all those things won't work in a highly effective way. And yeah, you can say that if I want sleep, I will have one third of my life more. I can do many more things. And yeah, yeah, of course. But you won't be able to do more things because you, you will be dead in 13 days. More or less 13 days. Now let's talk about how the whole mechanism of sleep even works. You probably know that there are four stages of sleep. The first one is waking. It's the lightest phase of sleep. You can say it's like the line between wakefulness and sleep. Then we have light sleep. In this stage, it is easy to wake you up, but also here comes some more important processes. For example, memory consolidation and information processing. The third phase is dream or REM, so rapid eye movement. This is a part where your brain lies to the world of imagination. Your whole body is paralyzed in case to not implement your dreams into real world. And there, your brain is responsible for learning, creativity and even mood regulation. The last and the most important phase of sleep is deep sleep. Here your brain creates delta waves and your sleep in this part is the most regenerative and useful. For example, short-term memory is transferred into long-term memory. Also, this stage is responsible for your personality and, like I already mentioned, recovery. And the most important thing is that in this stage, your brain starts to release growth hormone. But more about that later. Many of my friends says that I slept only 3 hours, I feel great, I don't need sleep, I'm not a pussy, and I'm always you fucking idiot. They probably don't even know what are the consequences of sleep deprivation. So the sleep deprivation leads to risky and drug decisions, heart and brain diseases, and you can learn even more if you download my full sleep guide from the description. Our whole sleep-wake pattern is controlled by so-called circadian rhythm. Every living creature has it, it changes with age, so, for example, a teen prefers to go to sleep at 11 p.m., but the elder person would prefer to go at, like, 9. So, in a nutshell, this whole circadian rhythm is responsible for schedules of sleeping and wakefulness. Here, I'm going to tell you about four most important hormones. The first one is melatonin. It is responsible for our, our feeling of being sleepy. It starts to accumulate in the evening and it gradually is reduced in the morning when the sunlight appears. Then we have adenosine. It accumulates throughout the day in our body and is re responsible 
for the pressure to go to sleep. So more or less it accumulates for 12 to 18 hours. And then we need to sleep. The third one is cortisol. You probably heard of, about that. It's a stress hormone. It is essential to wake you up, but if you have too much of it in your body, you might have some symptoms of sleep deprivation. Your quality of sleep can be destroyed. And the last one is growth hormone. It is responsible for, as you know, height and muscle growth. And the biggest spike of it is in the first phase of sleep. So in like the first 90 minutes of your sleep. And here is a fun fact that if you uh, normally goes to sleep at 10 p.m. So your first cycle is from 10 p.m. to 11.30. And if you go to sleep now at, for example, 1 a.m., you skip the whole first phase. So there won't be the spike of growth hormone. That is why to go to sleep regularly, and I'm going to talk about it later. If you want to improve your quality of sleep, focus now. Here are eight action steps that you can take to get better quality of your sleep. The first one, be drained. And what I mean by that? You need to work hard, study, be tired. It's like you need to, you need to deserve your sleep. The second one is blue light. So the best thing would be to not use any device that has a blue light. So for example, uh, PC, phone, and that's what all the mass media says. But the truth is that you can use your device, but just turn on blue light filter and reduce the brightness to the minimum. Avoid psychological triggers. Don't scroll on social medias before you go to sleep. Don't open Instagram. Don't open Twitter because there are too many triggers. Boobs, politics, and more shit that can destroy your sleep environment. It is crucial for you to prepare your room in which you sleep. Decrease the temperature to 18-19 degrees Celsius, let in fresh air, and use warm light. Now we have the step that I talked about before. Regularity. Now try to think about the sleep schedule that you can stick to for all your life. For me, it's from 9 to 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. And the consistency is the most important if you want to improve the quality. Then you have to clear your head, clear your mind. Before you go to sleep, simply just read, meditate, pray. This helps you to release any worries, stress, problems that you faced this day. The thing that all we know is to not drink, not smoke, don't drink coffee for at least four hours before you go to sleep. And the last one, the most important one, get sunlight as soon as possible after you wake up. Ideally in the first hour when you wake up, go outside, or if you can, to go on the balcony, look out through the open, open window to get sunlight into your eye and your body in the morning. This trigger all the mechanisms that you want to trigger. And there are multiple studies that shows that it is the most powerful stimulus for wakefulness throughout the day. And it has even a positive impact for your night sleep. Now when it comes to supplementation, I'm going to divide this part into two. The first one are the things, the supplements, that Dr. Huberman, Andrew Huberman, said in his podcast. And the second part would be about supplements that I took about my own experience. So when it comes to Dr. Andrew Huberman, the best supplements are the first one is Mayo inositol, exactly 900 milligrams. This is exactly for people that wakes up throughout the night and it simply shortens the amount of time that it takes to fall back asleep. The next one is theanine. It helps to improve the quality of your sleep, but it is not recommended for those who, had, who have intense or vivid dreams. And now if you want to fall asleep faster, take these. Magnesium threonate, magnesium, let me read this, bisglycinate, and the last one is apigenin. 
and this one also helps to reduce the anxiety. In my life, I took only two supplements for better sleep. I didn't have like huge problems with sleep. The first one is ashwagandha. It's probably the most known in the internet. And for me, it made me calm. Sometimes even like, I don't know, branded, unpresent. But when it comes to sleep, it was perfect. I slept like a baby. But the worst part was to wake up. I couldn't leave the bed at all. It took me like even one hour. And my dreams were fucked up. The last thing is melatonin gummies. You shouldn't take it regularly because it can destroy your melatonin system or distribution. I simply took it only when I really needed to sleep. Like deep sleep. And besides the vivid dreams, I didn't have any side effects. So I want to really thank you if you made it to the end. This is my first guide. I spent like two days to create it. And I would be grateful if you could go to my Instagram, Max K, and simply give me a feedback in a private message. What I could improve and what was good. So once again, if you want to learn more, to read more, the, more about the facts that I mentioned today, just go to the description and download my full sleep guide. If you hate yourself, click here. So subscribe and stay strong.